Hey folks, we're at the Nissan Design America Center, and I tell you what, you don't normally get into this building, and we've got some amazing news for you. You notice we've got a hard body uh, 1990s Nissan here. Well, we got David Woodhouse, Vice President of the Nissan Design Center. You've been working hard, my friend. What do you got in the works for the Nissan lovers out there? So, I, yeah, this is a pretty momentous time for Nissan, for the company but also for my studio, Nissan Design America. It's an awesome time for the, for the team here because we have the new Frontier being launched. And you know, it's, it's, it's a great point in, in history because we were involved in this product going back many years and now to come full circle to the new product, uh, this is just a great celebration of our team and what we contribute. And, and what's unique about it is when you sit here in a 1990 Nissan hard body, and then you look at the new 2022, it's, it's amazing, the transition. It's, it's kind of, a, they're a little bit alike. You know, it's like you've taken some of the cues from, from this 1990 version and you've put it into the, the 2022. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I always look at automotive design as a kind of Darwinian evolution of the species. Mm -hmm. So it's fascinating to look back at the 80s, the scale, the sensibilities. And then you look to what we've done today, and obviously, you know, the Frontier now, the new one, is absolutely of its time. You know, this is a contemporary product uh, brought up to date, but it's great to see this connection back uh, to the history of Frontier. Yeah, because back in 1990s, this center didn't have the technology nor the equipment that they have today for the 2022, but it's still exciting. I mean, when you look at what they were able to do in the 90s, compared to what they can do now, it's really pretty mind-boggling. Yeah, some things are the same, some things have changed. Yeah. Uh, we've got all the digital tools today, but as you can see, we still develop clay models. You know, clay was developed by Hollywood and the foot movie industry back, uh -huh. in, back in the 20s and 30s. We still use clay, but uh, we use a lot of digital virtual tools as well, mm. VR, milling capability, but it's all, it still comes back to hand, hand on clay, human touch, human hand and eye, creating these, these beautiful products. When you see the sensibilities of the exterior, this toughness you know, that there is, you, you're gonna see that exactly the same sensibility and feeling on the interior. So the team spent a lot of time and attention on all the details, the execution of the IP and the seat and the console, uh, I think is quite special. And we use these beautiful highlight colors. Um, so I, th I think you, you're not gonna be disappointed. If you like the exterior, you're gonna love the interior as well. Well, and I've always told people, you know, the, 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 the way to find out whether you're madly in love with a vehicle is to sit in it. The minute your butt hits the seat, you'll know whether or not this is a vehicle for you, right? Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, you rolled up in a GTR and there's no better seating than a GTR, okay? So if you do the seats right, you're already almost at the winner, winner circle because everything flows from there and the time that you guys put in the seat design, it, it's ridiculous how much time you put into it. Yeah, the whole interior gets yeah. amazing attention from yeah. the design team, for sure. Yeah, so, you know, it's interesting. It, when you guys come out with a, with a hard body like this, I mean, it's like having a child, you know, and, and right from birth all the way to the time it goes off into the public and you don't see your child again, and then you have to start all over. Yeah, it's funny you say that. Just yesterday, uh, we were talking internally and someone mentioned about the products out on the street and I said it's like, like your babies. And they, they really are, you know, the team invests their life and time into developing these products. So it's a very uh, intimate relationship oh. with the product over, you know, a, a few years. I was gonna say, what, maybe between two to four years, right? Yeah, the design Depending. phase, uh, you know, it's intense at certain points. So especially at the beginning, of course, like for about a year, but then there's a lot of follow-up through the process and then at the end to make sure the quality and all of the follow-up of the product is, is there in hand, you know. Right. No, it's, it's absolutely amazing, you know. And, and so my question is, did this start on a napkin? Because, you know, all the greats started on a napkin. Yeah, I, you know, I, I wasn't at the team when this, when, when this initiated. Uh, we'd have to talk to the designers, you know, I involved. bet you it started but on But I'm sure it did. Yeah, I mean, that's, you, you're absolutely right. That's normally the way. Yeah. And, and let's just, just for the heck of it, let's look on the inside of, of this 1990. I mean, it's really unique uh, how the dashes were put together, uh, you know, analog gauges, no digital, no Apple CarPlay, which that thrills me, to be honest with you. I'm not an Apple CarPlay kind of guy, but 
it's just you, so unique how everything fits the, you know, the vent systems and how they open and close. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a time machine, isn't it? Isn't you, it you look at the velour and the, and the color, color coded plastic. Um, it's absolutely of its time. And I think, you know, this is the thing with automotive design and automobiles in general. They reflect the sensibilities, the, the zeitgeist of the, of the point of time that they were developed. And this is a, this is a wonderful example in the hard body. And no cup holders. No, no I, cup holders. They still went around at that point. Yeah, there's no cup holders. I think there's a cigarette lighter in there, I'm <laughs> sure. But you know, and, and, and that's what I like with the new one coming out, the, the new 2022, you know, it's it's gonna have everything and then some. I yeah, mean, all, you, the, all you, the amenities. Yeah, USB yeah. ports, you know, 12 volt, you know, plug-ins, you know, the whole nine yards. Well, I, I gotta tell you, it's, the new one is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, you know, so 2022 is roughly when it's gonna, probably what, late, late 2022? Yep, we're showing it this year and then uh, 22 will be out in the, uh, in the dealership. Gotcha. I know the dealers are gonna be going crazy over this truck because they've been screaming for this truck for how long? It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, David, thank you very much for having us Pleasure, here. Dave. I've always been totally admired by walking in here and seeing all the excitement and, and all the buzz. And this is, you're in a family now because this, this group right here is like a huge family. Yeah, I, I feel very special being at Nissan these days and the studio at, uh, here in San Diego is something really special. Yeah, it's a lot a of people place. don't even know you're here. <laughs> yeah, we try to keep this a, the best kept secret. We got a couple new vehicles here we want you to check out. We have Angela, product specialist with Nissan. How are you this morning? I'm good, how are you? Fantastic. Tell me, what do we got? The new Frontier. Yes, so this is the brand new 2022 Nissan Frontier. I know you're very familiar with it. Uh -huh. um, so we are very excited. It's highly anticipated. It will go on sale later this year. Um, new engine, new transmission, new body. I mean, you name it. It's, uh, it's brand new. It's absolutely beautiful. And it, and it harkens back to the old hard body That's Nissan. Right. I mean, with the with the bold front end, with the mm -hmm. aggressive grill, and the the, the I mean, it's just really they and the, and the tow hooks. I mean, you've definitely built this truck to go off road. That's right. It's completely capable, um, and we took a lot of inspiration from the Nissan Hard Body, um, which is kind of a full circle. We're here at the mm -hmm. Nissan Design America Center. Um, but yeah, completely capable. This is the Pro 4X trim level here. So as you know, that's our off-roading, um, very durable one. We have our underbody skid plates. So we have all our Pro 4X details and accessories on it. Um, Bilstein shock absorbers, you know, so great for weekend and you adventures. And up to what, 6,000 pounds, I think? 6,720. Wow, that's so the right. people that have got bikes or a little trailer, you know, since we are in San Diego and yeah. we're close to the desert, we're close to the mountains, this, this, this rig would be perfect. No, it's perfect. It's just the perfect mid-sized truck for, you know, your work week, but then also that off-roading adventures sure. on the weekend too. Yeah, you could commute to work in this and, and then if the traffic really got bad, you could just make a hard right turn and go <laughs> off-road and go <laughs> wherever you need to go. That's yeah, right. She's beautiful and, I'm, and I, love, I love the new color. I have a funny feeling the palette of colors is really going to yes. be unique. Yes, so this is a new color called Baja Storm. We introduced it in the new Titan last year and it mm -hmm. was really popular. And then we also have a few new colors exclusive for the Frontier, like a tactical green Ooh. and also a bolder gray, which is a flat lighter gray. So a very military-esque inspired right. colors. All right, so what do we got over here? Is this the new... This is the Pathfinder. new 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. Again, another iconic vehicle for Nissan. Right, right. Uh, 35 years. Uh, this is the fifth generation body style. 35 years That's this right. thing has been out? Oh, yeah, it's right. older than me. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say that, but unfortunately I can't. That is absolutely, and, and I'm sure, again, not just what Nissan does, they take from their heritage and build accordingly. That's exactly right. There's Easter eggs all over it. There's a lot of inspiration for, with, from the original uh -huh. Pathfinder when it first came out. Um, you know, they always build on that heritage. Sure, sure. Uh, 
all wheel drive as well as two wheel? Four wheel or two wheel. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, so good. also capable. Uh, it's a new engine, a new nine speed automatic transmission, Fantastic. which is completely different from the outgoing model. And um, we've made it more rugged, more uh, just a wider body, more aggressive. Yeah, it looks wider than, than, than the vehicles in the past. And it's a three row. Yes, it's three rows and it's up to eight passenger now. Wow. So, you know, enough room for the entire family and all their stuff. And all their gear. And that's really what's important. I mean, it's, you know, there was a time when people would give you a three row, but you couldn't put anything in it besides right. the people. Well, now with the styling uh, of this, wow, this thing is really, really amazing. So, again, I'm sure the color palette on it is pretty extensive. Because people, what I like, people can actually get online and, and build their, their, their new Nissan. That's right. And everything is right there. And that's yeah. the beauty of it is you can take this color. The, 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 nah, I don't yeah. like that color. You know how many color combinations this has? How many? 15. 15? That's right. Oh, and then, then, then of course there's interior too, yeah. right? So the interior color options, but the exterior, it's you have your um, two-tone options, which is new and just very customizable to suit your, you know, personality. Well. All right, folks, don't forget to tune in to Cruising. Stay online with us, get subscriptions. That way you'll be alerted every time we come up with something because you have no idea what we're gonna do next. And you know what? Neither do we. Why? Because we're cruising.